Hello, this is Seraph, and welcome back to Blasphemous. Now, we just found out that we could break these statues down, and we're gonna see what these challenges things are. So, I've got one here. Let's uh, see if we can win this again, because this time I've got some health pots. Uh, do I still have... I still have the lung equipped. Oh, really? I'm just taking a couple worthless hits right at the beginning. That's not going to work out for me. There we go. Should be the angels next. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and next are the big statues. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, give me one of these. Come on, can I block? Nope. No, I have to take them out real quick and uh, try not to die. Okay, that's one. Kind of a cheap way just to rush in and take him out before he even really has time to react. But I think this is even cheaper. Oh, come on, you. Oh, I forgot that that thing flies back. Of course, you're going to send the tough one. There we go. There we go. Give me one of those. Who else you got? Who? Did this out of Sacorium? Sacorum? Tears of Atonement. Okay. So I beat these, I get extra gems. And. Budding Sprout. What is a budding sprout? Oh, it's down here. Small gift from Diagrassus nailed into the effigy. Oh, I see. That was that little thorn he gave me at the very beginning, so that grows as I def defeat these challenges. That's interesting. Don't know what it gives me, but it gave me that. Gotta be something big, thanks. It's gotta be something big when I uh, get rid of all of them. So, let's quick get back up and save so I don't lose anything. Or more, so I get my pots back. And I think there's still a little bit more to explore. There's that one dark spot in the middle of this map. So, I'm going to see if I can find it to get there and then cover everything that I can for this section. Okay, so what does this switch do? Does that bring it up or down? Ah. That brings that up. So it shifts their positions. Maybe? It resets them. Oh, I see what I have to do. Pull that and jump back over. 
Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, that gets me over here, and the item was... Sphere of Sacred Smoke. Oh, I've already got a Sphere of Moss. A small translucent pearl with a closing mechanism that is impossible to see. Traditionally filled with vapors coming from the big incense burners of the Mother of Mothers, this bead, however, contains something different. Its miraculous influence fills the bile flasks after some attacks, but the miracle is capricious and this does not happen often. Ooh! Once everyone had left, she approached the bonfire, still smoking with the scorched remains of the heretic. With a swift gesture of her fingers, she triggered the imperceptible lock that would open the tiny jeweled pearl in two, and passing it through the gray smoke, she closed it again, trusting that it would preserve that smoke forever. Okay. So that gives me more flasks every so often. Good to have. So... I think I'll take that, and I don't know what else I can find in here, so I think I'll find my way out and continue to press westward. Okay, back up at the top, let's push westward. What else can we find up here past... Oh, found a child. Uh, the key of high peaks. Oh, I didn't read the key. Shoot. Oh well. So many things I keep forgetting to do. So I've got myself a lift. Ooh. Convent. Haven't been here in a while. Okay. So I now have a quick jump back to the convent. That opens that up. Okay, that drops me above the Mayakopa Shrine. Ooh, I found you. The last one of these pains of mine, the deepest and sharpest of them all. Oh, have I found them all? Now depart towards the cradle of punishment. Oh, penitent one in guilt. Cradle of punishment. Well, there's all six of those. Have I found... How many of the fervor ones have I found? I don't know. Oh, the final masks. Mirrored Mask of Dolphos. Found in the hands of a dead archdeacon. Uh, they don't understand. They will not find grace, admit old books, and dark dreams. Grace is impurity itself in what we see and touch. I must study the beauty of the shining and the curves that reflect in the transformed truth. I must study the art of the goldsmiths as the miracle controls their hands, creating ornaments in its image and likeness. Here, in these icy rooms, they will finally leave me alone. Oh. I got that mask. Time to head back and plug some stuff in. Unless there's anything else I can think of. Oh, the mask is now fully opened. I awake now from the silver ash that has been my grave. The miracle calls me. Oh, I'm not liking you. I have a feeling you're my you're the guy I'm gonna have to fight. So let me see. Oh, I know there's uh, one of those. So I think it's time to do a little bit of a cleanup because it's looking like I'm near the end. Because. I guess once I hit the top of that, there's going to be that great big old fight, so let's uh, drop down here and uh, try out the Graveyard of the Peaks little challenge. Okay, so have I got my bead equipped because I think I need the bead? Yeah, okay, so let's break that down and try this challenge. So is this going to be easier or more difficult than the previous one? Oh, I've got a hole in the middle. Oh. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit on the easier side. Because I think it has to do with the enemies in the area. Yep. Yeah.
just have to worry about not landing on those spikes. There we go. Yeah, definitely coming back late game makes these trivial. There we go. Anything else? Ooh. Do not knock me into the spikes. There we go. There we go, that's it. So these little cleanups aren't going to be too bad. Heart of single tone. That's interesting. So it's not just money you give me. And the sprout is growing. Yeah, I think he said something about once the thorns wrap the handle and start piercing my hand. That, uh... That'll be good things. That sword core, with, which resounds with an inscrutable ringing, can be inserted in mea culpa, makes its edge vibrate, causing attacks to destroy certain material projectiles. Ah. So reduce elemental weakness, but uh, allow me to knock things out of the air. Uh, watch them. Watch as they climb up the burning ash. Watch how they crawl like hungry beasts. The ash swallows them one by one, insatiable. Such is the faith that the miracle stirs in them. It makes them climb towards the turned throne by promising them a communion that will indeed happen, but not in the way they expect. Soon, when all of them have been swallowed up, they will be reborn, filled with a faith that neither you nor I will ever get to comprehend. Cool. So people crawling up the mountain to meet with God and God's not going to be what you want it to be? So, uh, can I, I cannot fall through this to get that child. I need to come back up once. I have to ride the other carriage all the way up, walk down, and then fall down and maybe I can hit the child? No, definitely don't think it's still within reach. So, that's, uh... Head back to town. I don't think I've got anything to give anyone, but there's got to be some things. Yeah, I've got one challenge over there, one challenge down here, and some couple of places to fill out on the map, so let's uh, have a little look around and see what we can find. Okay, Brotherhood of Silent Sorrows. What challenge awaits me here? Because I'm just picking these up. Might as well while I'm running around. This looks like the first one I did. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. This bell. There we go. Come on, can you give me more? There we go. It's been a while since I fought these wagon wheel carrying guys. Oh, come on, get me away from here. There we go. Okay, these are not a problem. There we go. The bullheaded guys are not an issue. Ooh. The deer swinger. It's like a girl with like gigantic legs that grew out underneath her. 
or she's just sitting on the body of a giant. So, it's another down. What boon do I get from this one this time? The thorny briar. Oh, the thorns are starting to creep out. Now I wonder, what exactly am I going to gain from all these thorns? Will they give me... Um... Are they, like, one of the things I have to do to unlock the secret? Because they are little special challenges. Maybe I should save all but one and see what the difference is and run through the ending twice. Maybe that's a thing I can try to do. Maybe it'll save over my game. Who knows? Okay, so in the cistern, there is some stuff definitely to look around at. And with me having that toenail that allows me to go through the water faster, although I'm not wearing them, I know I can get a uh, couple things that are a secret, but I can also fall through the uh, smoke here and see what I can find. Because I noticed that there was a stop up here. Oh, child. There we go. And I need you here. That's the way on to that. Uh, what is this? We've got... Okay, so one of these... I know where these guys were. I've got one of the line-headed guys. They were up in the wall. These guys were just outside of Hondo, and those guys were in the uh, canvas. What's this I've got here? A chalice of inverted verses. A uh, rusty iron cup of simple appearance. Its interior is embossed in lackluster silver and depicts rows of spiral verses, which descend to the bottom. These rhymes speak of pagan beasts and forbidden fruit. The cup is partially filled with tears of atonement. Harvested by Mea Culpa. But father, where are all the idols, paintings, and statues that the mother has seized and banned? If they were inscribed by the faith in our miracle, or inspired by our faith in a miracle, they should not have been destroyed, for it would be a grave sin. I don't know, dear son, but I would bet my faith that those underground galleries hide more than air. Okay. So, I need to kill these things, I guess. And I can't get it through there. So, let's fall down. Oh, I missed another one. Hang on, I can take this back up. I'll take this up and then I'll fall down. Okay, that lands me here. And I've got another piece of bone. Uh, Kan Yu, although clumsy, took advantage of his cheerful and jovial demeanor to trick merchants and clergymen with the intention of killing them and stealing their belongings. You're not too great. Okay, so where am I? Back down in here. So I've got another challenge. And a couple spots that are weird on the map, but I know I've been there. So, well, let's try that other challenge while I'm down here. Okay. Another challenge down here in Gravius Ascends. Let's see what awaits, because I know this one's got a lot of ghosts, so maybe they're going to throw a lot of disappearing, teleporting people at me. Oh, stay in the middle. Good to know. Ah. There we go. Oh, big bell man. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, guys. Definitely making it not too easy for me. And not too difficult. Come on, you. Oh, come on. Just leave me be. Okay, well, at least I took out one of those big guys. That's two. Well, actually, two in that strike. There we go. Is that it, or one more wave? No, oh, that was it. Embers of a broken star. What the hell are those? Oh, and the bloodstained briar. So it's, is it doing anything? Um, no, nothing. Oh, it's a miracle from its fiance and guilt, growing its burden. Uh, okay, that's all the same. But I got something here. An unfamiliar mineral found deep in a crevice by a forgotten miner. Poor soul lost his mind in the labyrinth of its facets, with reflect, which reflect a non-existent light. Increases fervor. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, I found it. It's the light of a star. Uh, what they were saying, it's, uh, what they were saying is true. Something was shining in this frozen darkness. The light of the star was calling us. It wanted to get out. It wanted to return to the heavens, but now it won't be possible. For now, it is mine. Okay, so you're just going to be a greedy man and hold that there. I guess it's mine now. And so we got that completed. So where else can we make it? We still got more to poke around in the cistern, starting from here and moving back. Maybe we can find a way to unlock that gate. So I think. We'll uh, do a little poking around in there and continue to move around here and see what else we can find and who we can piss off in the next one.